Hello everyone, I'm Hong Yue. Today I want to briefly go through a new term for you. It is human information processing. This presentation will be broken down into three parts. First and foremost, we will talk about the definition of this term. Second, to better understand it, we will discuss the three stages of human information processing. Finally, we will go through all the points one more time to conclude this presentation. Okay, the first point that I want to cover is what human information processing is. The human information processing is an approach to study human behaviors by regarding human as a communication system that receives input from the environment, acts on that input, and then provide outputs back to the environment. Let's take a look at this figure. It shows that human is a box here. We get input from outside environment and provide output back to the environment. During this process, we will have interactions with the environment. So this procedure is a human information processing. Then if all of you feel comfortable with the definition part, let's move to the next point. What are the three stages of human information processing? As I talked before, there are three key parts of human information processing. They are input, output, and decision-making process. So the three key points are related to the three stages here. They are perception, cognition, and action. Let's take a look at this figure. It shows the three stages here. The first stage is perceptual stage, which means perception. It means that how can we get information? We get sensory information from outside environment. Then the second part is cognitive stage. It means the decision making. How can we act on that input? The final stage is action stage, which means that how can we provide responses back to the environment? Now let's discuss the second, the first stage which is the perception. It means that we will get external stimuli and organize them simply. There are three major types of information we usually use. They are visual information, auditory information, and tactile information. Please see this figure. We can see the different type of information we usually use here. The first one is auditory input which means auditory information. It means the information that we will hear. The second type is visual input. It means that the things we will see. And the last one is the motor information, which means that we will touch something or feel something like that. So these, these three types of information are the major resources of our inputs. Then let's take a look at the second stage which means the cognition. This stage, at this stage, we will analyze the information and make decisions. There are three major steps of this stage. Let's take a look at this figure. It briefly introduces this stage. We will get information from the storage, from our input. Then this input will go into the central processing. It is a main part of our brain. It depends um, how we organize different informations and how we uh, make decisions based on these things. During the central processing procedure, we will use working memory and long-term memory here. Working memory can also be called as a short-term memory. It means that the memory will last only several seconds to one or two minutes. But long-term memory means that the memory will last for a long time and will retrieve them from our memories. So based on all these resources here, we will make decisions. Okay, Final, finally, let's talk about our third stage. It's about action. It means how do we respond to the stimuli. So there are three stages of response. The first is selection and then preparation. Finally, we will activation of responses. During this stage, we need to consider some key factors here. The first one is information uncertainty. 
we will get information from previous stages and think about the risks that of different responses and then make our decision about which action we want to make. It also depends on the complexity of these choices. And then we need to think about the probability and expectancy about what will happen after we conduct this response, this action. So it is a part about the preparation. And finally, we need to do some practice to make our behavior. And during this part, there are some hot topics in this area, including the human errors and multiple task performance, the different task design and structures, and also the resources allocations. Okay, so finally, let's run through the main points of this presentation one more time. Today, we talk about the human information processing. It is, lies at the heart of human performance. It is a way that regarding human as a communication system. We get input from the environment, interact with the environment and resources, and finally make the output back to the environment. There are three main stages of human information processing. They are perception, cognition, and action, which um, is related to the three key parts of human information processing, respectively. They are input, decision making, and output. Okay, that's all about this presentation. Thanks very much for your time. Let's exist from our slideshow. And uh, I will briefly show you my notes that there are all the notes under each slide uh, talk about what I'm going to say here. So that's all about this task. Thank you.